If God is that powerful, God is that merciful, God is that loving, the Bible says a cattle on a thousand hills is his, and the earth and the fullness thereof. Well, what mine at, God? What mine at? If you give the last the same thing you give the first, what mine? Because we don't trust God. We don't believe in God. And we ain't being taught about God. We're being taught everything else. The big God for a car. The big God for a house. The big God for a business. The big God for a spouse. The big God for this. The big God for that. We've been taught the big God, man. Not to really trust and get to know God. Because you're already blessed, man. You're already blessed. Every day you wake up, okay, God, what's your will? Let's roll. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Because if God wants somebody to give you something, they got a lot of people with money. Here, man, here. Take these million dollars. How you going to stop God, man? But you want to suffer because you think God going to show up because you're suffering. This fool, what are you suffering for? You don't have to suffer, man. You don't have to hurt. You don't have to beg. You don't have to do nothing. You just have to trust God, man. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. He said, many are called, but few are chosen. And all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and those who've been called according to his purpose. Paul said we ought to walk worthy in the calling in which we have been called. God done called us, man, but we too busy murmuring and complaining and looking at what somebody else doing and looking at what somebody else have and looking at somebody, man, I care about that. I don't care nothing about that. I'm worried about y'all, man. Damn them other people. Why? What are they going to do for us? What are they going to do for us? T, look at how I've been building over the years. Ain't